Hey everybody, it's Marissa. Thanks for coming back to see me this week 190. Here to give you an update of what I've been up to. Uh, my last update was about two months ago. Um, I talked to you about my pregnancy, how everything was going. Um, I am still pregnant. I'm 38 weeks and one day pregnant, so things are really getting down to the wire. Um, our daughter will be here very, very soon, and um, I haven't really updated because there hasn't really been too much to update on. I suppose I could have updated more about, you know, how I've been handling a pregnancy as far as um, being a weight loss surgery patient. You know, I did have gastric bypass surgery 190 weeks ago. It's hard to believe that, you know, when I was calculating the weeks, I said that's such a high number, but that's what it's been. I will be four years out of a surgery in September. Um, so, I mean, it's just, it's been different, you know, trying to process the day-to-day -day, um, just being pregnant and then having you know a small pouch you know to work with not obviously not as small as you know when I first was out of surgery but it's still challenging because um, you're hungry all the time um, you know everything it's all hormonal for those of you who've had children you understand what this process is like so for me being a first timer it's all very new to me um, and then also taking into account that I have had weight loss surgery. So, um, but I'm hanging in there. Everything's been great. I've had a very uneventful pregnancy, thank goodness. Um, I don't have gestational diabetes. I think I touched on that the last time I updated. And um, that all came out clear, so that was good. Um, but generally, I've just been doing my best as far as weight gain. The last time I officially weighed myself, I had only gained 18 pounds. That was right when I was starting my third trimester. And um, right now, I have not weighed myself, and my doctor really doesn't even talk about my weight anymore. So it's kind of gotten to the point where it's like, if she's not discussing it with me, I'm just not concerned about it because I'm doing the best I honestly can. And at this point, I can't micromanage what I'm eating as much because I'm growing a human inside of me. And um, I'm really just making the best choices I can. I'm not saying they're great choices, but I'm just doing what I can to just kind of live my life, you know, as best as I can. Um, but I have been kind of eating off the mark a little bit versus what I would eat, you know, normally. But um, I've kind of given myself that free reign a little bit and I've kind of gotten over it because I was really kind of upset a lot. Like, I can't believe, you know, I ate this or X, Y, and Z and I can't believe I done, you know, it's like, it makes no, it's, there's no point to it. This is a very different situation. So my goal for myself is once I deliver my daughter, um, is to, you know, get right back on track. And I'd like to be right about where I was originally before I got pregnant by September, because that's when I go see um, the surgeon again for my next follow-up. So it'll be four years. So basically that's it. I'm just kind of hanging tight. Um, like I said, uneventful. I've been, I worked out from week 20 from 20 weeks out until I hit the third trimester. So I've kind of slowed down because my energy is not there. But I think without having gained a whole lot of weight, I think balancing it with exercise and movement has really helped. My husband and I are still doing our occasional walking. He'll go with me and he's such a good sport about everything. But my energy is just not there. Um, I'm tired more, I'm hungrier. So it's kind of like, okay, what do you do? Um, just don't have the energy like I did. Um, so I'm just accepting that and I'm still working. So, you know, my days are long and uh, I'm planning to work until I deliver. And then I will have the summer off with um, our baby. So uh, everything's great. I will show you guys what I look like right now. I have grown. So here I am. The camera. This is my, my bump. This is the baby. Um, in, in terms of you know, gaining weight and everything. I think I'm doing okay. Um, it is what it is. I told my husband, I said, if I have to gain weight for any reason to have our baby is, is the best reason ever. And I can, I can accept that. So <laughs> it is hard. The psychology of losing 174 pounds, maintaining that weight loss, and then, you know, getting pregnant and seeing your body change so much. It is a little bit, it can be scary. It can be a little overwhelming, but I had to kind of break through that and just say, whatever. This is a moment in my life. This is where I am now. So let me enjoy it. I don't want to freak out about it. So basically that's it. Um, I am going to show you the nursery 
and uh, cause that's, we're ready for her. So I will show you the nursery right now. Okay, we are entering the nursery, which we finished uh, a couple weeks ago officially. Here we go. There's her name, Sophia Rose. <laughs> We're so excited. Um, this is her crib. Well, actually, this frame. We'll have pictures in it eventually, but we just have it up there because obviously she's not here, so we have no pictures. Um, or her crib is all ready. There's her crib. Her changing table with all her supplies. Mirror. There's me. Hi. <laughs> Um, glider. This thing is great. It's actually super comfortable and it glides so nice. I can't wait to rock her. We actually have an ottoman for it too, but it's not in here just yet. And then this mobile that I made was a Pinterest thing and I uh, worked on it and got the colors to go with the room. Her rug. Let's see what else. I'm not going too fast here. You know, I don't usually do this kind of video. She's got a nice window. Didn't put anything up against that window. You know, I don't want any accents with those cords from the blinds. This is probably my favorite part. I've got a beautiful chandelier. This room has very high ceilings. So she has a really great, great room here. If that's not even in focus, I'm sorry. Okay, then here. Little sign, first we had each other, then we had you, now we have everything. Her little book corner. Just some books that were given to us. This book right here is hysterical, Vader's Little Princess. So funny. Her little toy, toy basket. These are vintage toys, like that monkey was my husband, the current and Miss Piggy were mine when I was little, and intertwined, you know, just some random toys from our childhood. There's a swing. We have not put that together yet. We have lots to do. Here's her closet. Another Pinterest idea. I'm sure everyone's seen this done. We took the doors off and just put, you know, curtains and our blankets, our clothes. More things we haven't put together. <laughs> we have so much to do. I, I played with the baby Bjorn. That's all I've done so far. Organized her clothes a little bit with sizing. A little height chart. And then um, her uh, drawers here. All her little hair accessories, stuff that I've gotten along the way. So she's ready to, to be dressed up and little passies and stuff like that. And a little sign. And then up here another little shelf and a in a frame and a piggy bank and more things that we have to put together the pack and play we have her bouncer so basically that is her room and I hope she loves it and uh, we're just ready for her so here's a blanket my mom made for her the little tag says made with love by grandma so she's she's obviously very loved and we're just so excited to meet her so my doctor doesn't expect me to go early. She says that she'll probably go over. So probably in a couple more weeks, a little over that, I pray and hope that everything goes well. And we have our baby. So anyway, I just wanted to give you this update. And um, thanks for watching and for supporting me through all these years and um, for being with me this for this very exciting part of my life. So I'm glad I could share it with you. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.